Alrighty, you guys, you wanted to hear more about the next generation of laptops, so I heard you loud and clear, and this is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video, but if you're a new viewer, then perhaps you should know that I have an entire playlist talking about the next generation of laptops that are going to be presented at CES 2021, including the RTX 3000 mobile lineup, Ryzen 5000 mobile, the RX 6000M, and of course, Intel's Tiger Lake processors, and all of those things are going to be really exciting, but I would also just like to add that today I shot another video and uploaded it to my channel where I was talking about the RTX 3060 Ultra that is not going to be the super apparently the RX 6700 and the 6700 XT and of course some other price shenanigans which are going to be impacting you as well by the way especially if you want to build a new shiny new gaming PC should I say but of course in today's video we're going to be talking about uh, the next generation of laptops and I have a few models that I think you guys might be interested in so we're going to be starting with the Acer Nitro 5 and last time I covered the Acer Nitro 5 we've seen one with the 5800H and an RTX 3080 and I told you that this one might potentially be the cheapest RTX 3080 mobile laptop. However, this time around, we're looking at one sporting Intel's Tiger Lake processors, and these are both going to be the i5 11300H and the, I believe it was the i7 11370H, if I'm not mistaken, otherwise you're going to be seeing that on screen right now. But what is that? A 1650? Yeah, they drop it. Damn, what are you doing Acer? Like, this is completely nuts. Why would you even consider to put that? And now that I'm seeing that, I'm also thinking about the whole um, MSRP leak that we've seen from WCCF Tech saying that the laptops with an i5 are going to be paired with a 1650 if they want to sell those for 699 US dollars. So I guess they're trying to hit that price point. But I reckon that with the i7 that they're also going to be selling this laptop in, um, they're going to be asking for about 800 bucks. Or I don't know, maybe they're going to do something less, something more. Just check out the other video that I posted so you're going to understand why I'm thinking both of these things could potentially happen. Now we're also going to be discussing about another laptop or a series of laptops should I say that are going to be showcased at CES 2021 and this is official confirmation that we have gotten from Dell saying that they're going to be releasing some laptops that um Back in the day, or should I say a week ago, I would have said that this is a complete utter joke and in fact I did make a joke in our crowd discord server, links to that are going to be in the video description by the way, saying that, you know what we need? A 5G capable laptop. Today we're bringing 5G. 5G, 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 5G to 5G. 5G. No, honestly, I didn't think that this would come to the market just as soon as this is going to happen. But um, yeah, I guess this is exactly what you guys wanted to see, right? I mean, if you didn't want to see 5G, then what else would you want to see? Maybe Microsoft Teams certified screens? Because that's a thing that Dell is also bringing to the market. And I don't know what to say about those things because it completely bugs my mind like I can't possibly think why we would need such a thing and why this requires a certification it yeah okay I'm not going to get into discord certified um, Skype certified and all of those other things that we have previously seen in the past but um yeah, I'm not going to get that excited about that and I'm not going to get excited about their video conferencing monitors that they're going to be releasing and I guess you are also not going to be all that hyped to hear about their pricing for their Latitude and Inspiron or whatever the other laptops that Dell is producing is going to be called. You're going to see that on screen most probably. They're going to cost anywhere between $600, $650 is going to be the cheapest model if I remember correctly. And you're going to also see some models that are going to be upwards of $1,900 US dollars. So um, yeah, if you're looking to get a laptop for work, 
then uh, you might be looking into that but i would also like to add that you know they have made a point that they are investing so much in getting these laptops to be more eco-friendly and how they're um, you know making them more sustainable and helping the environment and all that stuff well you're going to be paying with all your hard-earned money for that so uh, don't kid yourself now the last thing that i would like to talk about is the aorus 17g or g17 but if it's 17g then it's most probably better than the 5g capable laptops i would reckon and they are also going to be releasing their um, g5 and g7 and their a7 laptop and that one is going to be uh, an amd based laptop and i'm mostly excited to hear more about that one and by the way, I have an entire video talking about the G5, G7 and the A7 on my channel. So um, if you'd like to learn more about them, then you should probably go and check out that video because I don't have any extra information about them other than these pictures, um, which come courtesy of... Uh, Komachi, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Otherwise, you're going to see the uh, leaker over there, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Komachi, who, by the way, is one of the most accurate leakers whenever it comes to stuff like this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to also tell you more about the prices that, if you haven't seen where I was discussing about these uh, 17G laptops, the AORS, Gigabyte, whatever they're going to be calling all of their uh, different models. They have Aero as well. Um, apparently the prices have been confirmed to be false uh, and Gigabyte told that to uh, Tom's Hardware so I don't know exactly what they're going to cost right now but I would also not get my hopes up that these are going to be anywhere cheap uh, or anywhere as cheap as we expected initially just because of the whole reasons that I mentioned in the other video that I shot today. So I don't remember exactly if I had anything else to talk about, but I'll just throw a really quick look at my phone because uh, I'm recording this at 10 p.m. in Germany, so I'm uh, a little bit tired and hyped at the, sim at the same time, <laughs> I guess. And I, um... oh yeah, I wanted to tell you something that is completely unrelated to CES, but it is still related to laptops. And this is the M1 Mac and they are going to be most probably releasing this year the M1X or the M2 um, version of this uh, CPU. But I wanted to tell you that uh, they have been allegedly working on this for about 10 years and this should also show you how long it takes to um, make a CPU a GPU which is well kind of similar I guess you could say and some to some certain extent but anything in the whole semiconductor industry takes a lot of time and a lot of money and you know all of this goes to research and development mostly and there are other things to consider as well now why would I say such a thing well I was reading this article from um, some investors telling Intel that they should just move to seven or five nanometers and this should go just like, you know, really fast and uh, they should definitely do it because it's definitely possible if AMD is doing it. But just so you know, it takes a lot of time to do those things and I'm going to leave some articles about that. And as much as I like to poke fun at Intel and you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, then you probably know that I made, well, I poked fun at, that, at them before. It's not all that easy. However, there's two articles where you can uh, laugh at them and enjoy yourself if you happen to love AMD so much. So um, yeah, you could also go and just read those articles, have a little bit of fun, and um, don't forget to leave me a comment telling me what you think of this whole situation that we find ourselves in and what are you, are you mostly excited to see at CES. And don't forget that I might also be doing a live stream um, for the NVIDIA and AMD broadcast that they're also going to be doing and presumably they're going to be talking about the, you know, everything that they have planned for this year, including the next generation of laptops and those uh, mobile CPUs, GPUs, and uh, maybe the 6700 XT and the non-XT version because we really need more GPUs and the ones that are not going to be super expensive. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, yeah, maybe I'll catch you in another video. Bye-bye.